Alright then, hello people of the YouTubes, it's me, Duhad. I'm taking a very brief break from uh, Honey Pop, because if I don't I'm going to go fucking insane. And I'm going to uh, play a game Rydell just got me, called Home, a unique horror adventure a unique horror uh, adventure by Benjamin Rivers. Uh, we were talking about psychological horror, and I was talking about how much I really enjoy kind of the works of David Lynch and uh, things like Lone Survivor. Basically horror games that have a very psychological bent to them. They're very kind of unnerving more than frightening. And he said this was uh, good. Actually makes me want to go back and play some more Alien, but uh, I want to... I'll, I'll get to Alien soon enough, don't worry. Gaming saved automatically at certain points, however we recommend you put aside an hour and a half to, and complete the uh, complete home in a single sitting. Alright, I can do that. Where headphones drop the lights. It's uh, probably way too dark. Let me take a moment to see if you can still see me. You can still see me. Okay. All I remember at this point was finding myself alone. Oh. Ah, my head. Where was I? I was so dark. There was something by my feet, a flashlight. Ugh, it's like blood. Can I click on it? I don't actually know. Oh, yeah, it's a door. The house, where was I? That house, where was I? Oh, shit balls. Uh, there was a body laying on the floor. Who was it? Did I recognize his face? He was still kind of warm. So apparently the more things you do, the... Uh, changes the story. I didn't recognize his face. He was still kind of warm. Okay. Apparently I don't really click on things as much as I troll mouse and keyboard. This is very strange. A desk had a computer and some papers on it. In a single draw a uh, single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but did I open the drawer? Ah jeez, I, I I might have he killed some oh okay so why not? See pens and a blurry photograph. Uh, photo it looked like a store of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? So apparently, the story changes depending on how you do it. And you're supposed to kind of play it multiple times to kind of get a better feel for the story. But blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of there. So apparently, like, the, the story alters depending on how you do things, uh, you know, lots of very small, subtle changes. Why did I turn all the lights off? I actually am afraid of the dark. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg, I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs to try to find a way out. The shelf was full of books. On local history and hunting, it seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people, there was uh, dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. It apparently was something of, a, of an alcoholic. The smell was turning my stomach. A black and white photo looked like the man upstairs and his wife. I guess there was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? No. I feared this was no help to me, so I left it behind. No reason for me to t take the guy's stuff. I, I don't feel guilty about about it. Me downstairs. The hell's this? Tiny gray mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked uh, frantic but exhausted. Did I free it? Yeah. 
Wait, no, shit, that was no. I meant to say yes. Shit. I guess I'm a bastard. Oh, I probably didn't want to put my fingers near it anyway. Collection of rusty tools. These looked like they'd seen a lot of use and were cracked in a dumb smelling dirt and damp smelling dirt. Why were they uh, in, why were they in a shed? Weren't they in a shed? Oh god. I found a picture of a couple. It looked like it had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? Okay, yeah, I'm curious about that now. To press uh, uh, smoothly into the wall, I heard a far away click somewhere. Okay. The mouse was dead. It looked like the cat had gotten to it. No. My own cats, Luna and Octavia, they kill mice by the boatload, but uh, still feel bad about it. I looked like uh, hell. My clothes were dirty and torn. There was mud caked all over my shoes. So maybe I was the one who got the tools out of the shed. The floor was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another. Oh, wait. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, you know what? Turn on sunlight. <laughs> okay, a little bit of light's fine. The door was trapped and seemed to be stuck. By the smell, I guessed it led to the kitchen. The switch in the wall worked. The door had been unlocked. Okay, so that's what it did. Okay, it's a trap door. The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I had found a way out. Must uh, I have moved it, right? Yes. I hid the box forward and finally gave. There was a going underground where the box was. A dang smell of uh, rose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? Yes. My leg hurt like hell as I climbed down the ladder. The tunnel below was even darker than the smell, uh, and the smell wasn't getting any better. But I had got to uh, get out of there and find my way home. Footprints in the dirt. Looked like more than one kind and a lot of traffic. Places uh, all over were marked on the old map of town. The industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail station. Newspaper clippings from the local uh, paper. They were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wait, there were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell was this about? Maybe I should have looked around more. Try to find some kind of information. Oh, Rachel, please be okay. I wanted to rush home, but I had to find a way out first and needed to see what else was down there. It was so dark down there, and the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? The desk looked old and was caked with grime. Oh, it was a st on it was a stack of old faded papers covered with what looked like names. They're sca uh, scratched out, and the legible notes were written besides them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. He, if, e, he, I, r, al, o, r. None of it made any sense to me. See, apparently there was there's a whole bunch of like forums and stuff dedicated to figuring out what the hell is going on with the story and you have to kind of play multiple times to find all the different like routes and information and stuff to help piece it together but crudely made shells they looked like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive the labels were worn and slick but I could still see the warnings it looked like a cage it was small but there was something coated uh, coating the bottom something wet Oh, that looks like a dude in this pixely art style. Some kind of old box. They looked like they were years old. Wait a minute, these boxes had old clothes in them. 
clothes I remember throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the hell were they doing here? <laughs> so it's just bats. Bats, that's all. A big swarm of bats. Maybe that'll be Batman. I remember noticing the broken ladder. It had to be. I had to be careful. I don't remember if I jumped down there or found another way. It looks like it'd be a long way down. Do I jump down? There's only one way to get to the bottom of this, and that's getting to the bottom of this. Oh man, my leg hurt. I was limping even worse than before. I could hear some sort of faint humming noise up ahead. A generator or something? Some candles down here. A bunch of old newspapers. White pasted together. A message had been hastily scrawled on them. Keep out! Danger! Due to cave-in! That's definitely a hum. It's reminding me of Penumbra. The jump really aggravated my leg. It hurt more than ever. Those tunnels, though. What was the man upstairs up to? What was he doing he there? As I peered past the heavy metal door and into the gloom, I started to second-guess myself. Maybe I should have taken that gun I'd found. I didn't find a gun. I'm fairly certain I didn't find a gun. There was dirt on the ground. It looked wet, and there was grass smeared within it. Hmm. Well, the arrow's pointing this way. I could hear a faint ticking sound, like water. What was that? A kitchen knife covered in drying blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? No. I was relieved to leave the, fu uh, the filthy knife right where I found it. Uh, Alright, let's go to the exit. There was a rusty ladder sunk into the water which smelled disgusting. I knew I couldn't climb down that. Maybe I could find a way to drain the putrid water. Alright, so obviously I have to go in the other way. Is that a gunshot or thunder? The door was locked. There was a musty spell from inside. All right. I thought I could turn this water valve to shut off its flow. How did, did I turn it? Yeah. Looked like I turned off the water flow to, from the valve. I wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. So by survival horror logic, I twisted the valve so the water should have turned off and also drained, but Let's look around just to be sure. I thought I could turn this water valve to shut it off the, uh, the flow. Did I turn it? I'll also turn that one. Should probably just do all of them. I thought I could turn this water valve to shut off the flow. Did I? Yeah. Also this one. Yeah. Locked. Like I turned off the water flow in this uh, valve. Oh, okay. That was the, might have been the sound of me successfully doing what I needed to do. So for those of you wondering, yeah, I do kind of slide one of my earphone, uh, the earphones off uh, my right ear whenever I get scared or am worried about someone coming into the room in a way that I'd have to hear what they had to say. It's a work at this point basically okay uh, I have to do something on this side as well ah there was a similar dirt uh, on my own shoes did I come from down here let's try the ladder disgusting it was a mess of filthy garbage bags. There were rips and tears in most of the bags. What looked like an old videotape was sticking out of it. Did I take the tape? 
Yeah. I wasn't sure what I hoped to discover with this tape, but I took it anyway. This is also fucking weird. I didn't want to go back into those tunnels. It seemed better to press on. Okay, so obviously it's... I missed something uh, in this direction. Probably not in here, but let's double check. No. I feel like I'm just waiting for fucking Jason Voorhees to come in. Door was locked. There was an. Yeah, okay. Locked. Like I turned off the water flow from this valve. Just like I can see. Uh, oh! Handprints from a uh, previous user. Probably from whoever worked these uh, sewers. I have to use it? Those I could see handprints from right, now. now. Maybe this is... Alright, that's one. Over here it's two. I thought I could turn this water valve to shut off the flow. Did I, oh, I must have accidentally not turned this one. Let's see if that did it. I'm pretty sure I did the other ones. Must have missed another one. So I did one, I did two. Wait. Turn the water valve to shut off. Yes. It's still active. Did I turn it again? Was I turn off? Oh! Oh, I didn't turn it far enough. Double check to make sure all the ones I've actually gotten so far are fully twisted. I turn this one, uh. Okay. So that one definitely worked. Oh, I can raise my thing. Double check to make sure this one's good. Yep. Keep on going. Okay, so this one's clearly not. If I could turn the water, shut off. Yes. Turn off. Yes. Did I turn? Yes. Alright, so I had to do that one three times. I had to do this one four times, probably. This up. What? I turned the. Wait, did I seriously, like. Turn the water flow from this valve? Huh. So, like, the one took one, the second one took two, and then. Number four, like, one took one, two took two, three took three, and four took one. Okay. Well, whatever, it's fine. Uh, let's keep going. Okay. Yeah, okay, that worked. Oh, jeez. Fucking game is so spooky. Looks like the water drained out of the uh, grate in the wall. Hmm. There's a small metal key left floating in the so in the shallow pool of uh, rancid water. Did I take it? Yeah, sure. Probably the small key, but it was so odd shaped. I had no idea what it might open. Uh, the safety poster had definitely seen better days. How old was this facility? The door was locked. I could see a faint light from within. That looks like a body. I found another dead body. A sewer worker. He was a mess, but he looked like he'd been stabbed. Oh jeez, with that fucking knife. I could see a, a key ring that had fallen out of his pocket. Did I take it? Yeah, I'm gonna need that. Rid of the nerve to snatch the key ring away from away and put it in my own pocket. Oh Jesus, that looks like some sort of cult bullshit. That someone's gonna take that fucking knife. Oh, there's a camera up there. Someone's gonna take that fucking knife I left behind and stab me. I know it. I know it. There was a hint of fresh air here. I must have been near the exit. But I wonder what did the key I found in the sewer work uh, uh, on the sewer worker do? And what was the videotape I found? I 
I slowly made my way up the ladder, my leg protesting all the way. I wondered what was on the VHS tape I found, or that locked door. Should I have gone back to check? At the top, I found a latch and propped it open. Suddenly, as I lifted the lid above my head, the awful smell that the sewer gave way to the uh, musty scent of an old pine tree. Oh jeez, that looks like eyes. Eyes in the dark. They get stabbed, aren't I? Oh well. This game is fucking weird as shit. So loud. So spooky loud. An old ladder leading up to an ancient water tower. The ladder needed to be extended so I could climb it. Did I send the ladder? Yes. I popped the latch and brought the ladder down. Okay, go any further in this direction? I'll go up first. This is one of the places that was marked on that old map. A patch of uh, smeared dirt and grass. There was a beat up old wallet. I thought it was mine. Did I take it? Yeah. The wall was missing an ID, car, uh, ID or cards, but it had a bit of cash left in it. I slid it into my back pocket and wondered where my credit cards and driver's license were. From the railing I could see over the woods, and down to the entrance of the sewer. Had I come through here before? If I did, someone definitely could have seen me. Oh, Jesus. I tried the little key I had finished out of the murky puddle in the sewer. It fit and heaved, the open, and heaved open the rusty door. The wind was picking up a bit. The night air had become strangely chilly. Can't go that way. Gotta go this way. It's a spooky place where the devil lives. Oh, I hate clocks. The old train station was quiet as a tomb. The only sound was that of the increasing winds buffeting the decrepit structure. I don't even know if like this is even like the way I'm supposed to go. I think I'm supposed to like I'm supposed to stay in the house, and the painting was like a secret area, and it's like the alternate ending, extended level thing. The ancient ticket booth was falling apart and covered in dust and grime. Stacks of paper lined the counter, faded remains of old schedules and reports. Among the papers were newer-looking sheets, covered in scribbles and illegible notes. Come to think of it, the man in the house had kept similar scribbles hidden on his bookshelf, and he had noted on the water tower outside, too. I guess he could have been coming here, but why? Was he using this old station for... What was he using this old station for? Not what... Was he... Yeah. Fucked up my cadence there a little bit, but... Time I open a door, I'm afraid someone's gonna like shiv me as I walk through. It's an old trick that was used in Resident Evil, and it's still good here. An old map encased in glass hanging on the wall. It was the train routes connected to the old train, the old station. As I looked at it, it seemed familiar. Of course, the map I found in the tunnels and similar locations marked. And the notes I'd found on the other man's no uh, bookshelf. His notes mentioned the water tower and even this train yard. What was he doing coming back here? What the hell? The torn open in the torn opening of that ruined train were heaps of dirt and so and stale water. At the bottom, I thought I saw a scrap of cloth. As I looked closer, I could see that it was definitely some kind of nylon. Maybe a windbreaker or some other outdoor clothing. There was too much of a mess on the ground to see any kind of footprints, but someone, or something, had definitely toward uh, a regular path. Toward a regular path. So 
confused. Who was biting through my thin clothing, and I was sure what else to make of this place. I'm so confused. The sorry condition of this place seems sad somehow, but also ominous. I don't know what I accomplished by going in there, but... I don't know. This place is giving me the chills. Maybe I shouldn't have come back in here. Can I leave? Is it... Oh, that noise! The fear it instills in me every time I hear it. This must have been the entrance to the forest that was mentioned on the map I had seen. Whoever was poking around in these tunnels underneath that man's house had scribbled notes on this place, but I couldn't make them out. Here, the single pointed out various camps. Here, the sign pointed out various campsites and walking paths within the woods. It mentioned a river and maybe a washroom, but the rest was too faded to see clearly. Trampled into the dirt and grass was a plastic card of some kind. I brushed it off and was surprised to see it was my credit card. I wasn't sure if it was still usable, but it was mine. Did I take back the credit card? Yeah, I'll keep it. I pocket the credit card. Hopefully I could find my driver's license too. But why would someone throw my driver's license and credit cards all the way back here? Why did I wake up in that strange house with a dead man? Is the dead man the one who left all these notes? What was the sound? There's a fire pit here. It was still a bit warm and a few embers still burned at the bottom. There was someone else out in these woods. Why they abandoned their campsite? At Chief Dome 10 slept two people. I uh, stood in my I shot my flashlight inside and could see some bed rolls, two backpacks and a cooler. But no people. No people anywhere. Only the sounds of animals. No, no. Don't. Something. No, no, don't something. No, no. I'm not going in there. I'm making an executive decision to not fucking go in there. Not into no, no, don't. The sign was the same as the first one I'd seen. There must have been an exit to the other side of the uh, to the other side of the woods. I'd finally found the exit. Once I left, I knew I'd never wanted to return there. Finding the campsite had been strangely unsettling. I couldn't imagine why anyone would abandon their site in the middle of the night, especially in the dark forest. I was relieved at last to finally be out of there. Even now, I peered through the dense trees. I could see crackles of light and a bit of the land beyond. I must, I must have been getting closer to town, but where exactly was I? Oh, God. I still feel like I'm getting stabbed. Is this nightmare going to end? I set through the gate, I suddenly recognized the auto parts factory where I'd worked as a uh, mechanic for all those years. The plant had closed almost three years ago. Now times were better than... Uh, ago, uh, years ago now. Times were better then. I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. I don't want to take that risk. Oh god. Why? No, 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 no. Get the fuck out. Huh. 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 
and found the body of a security guard, just doing his job, no doubt. His face was covered uh, with blood from some kind of head wound. I wondered, was the fla this flashlight his? Dug into the ground was a cracked old wrench. First my wallet, and now this. Did I retrieve my watch? This is my watch. Yes. The watch was useless, but I put it on my wrist anyway. God, what is wrong with this place? I have no choice but to go back to the old factory, I guess. Because for some fucking reason they want me to suffer. There was a large power box within five lights on it. Cables burst out of the box, snaking off to the other parts of the factory. The metal was starting to wear, and cobwebs had collected on the corners. The box wasn't receiving power. The door was locked tight. It seemed to be connected to the power box besides it. The door was locked shut, and there was a little electronic box under uh, the handle. A sign was plastered on the front that said, Danger, closed for repairs. One of the lockers hung open. It connect its contents tossed around like someone had been looking for something. Uh, oh, why do I have to be curious? Every part of this plant smelled old and rotten. I noticed the old bulletin board on the wall. The board contained the yellow clippings of a newspaper cartoon and notices. There were notes and from the guys that worked here. Uh, one of them was to Norman, who was one of the uh, older guys on the line. Hmm, a power panel. Looks like it was shut off. Do I put it to switch? Yeah, I guess so. Open locker was stuffed with dirty work clothes and old boats. There was a photo of a woman taped to the inside, but it was scratched out and the face was unrecognizable. Another power panel. Yeah, let's flip it. It was shut tight. There's a rusty looking card slot on the side. Panel seemed to be working again. Christ, I feel like someone's gonna jump out at me saying, Silver and Die, try it again? Yeah. Okay, so that one's working now. I'm sorry to suspect like no one's gonna jump out at me, but I know the fear that someone might eventually is overwhelming. Our breakfast table. I'm oh, sorry, our old break table. The layer of dust and grime only made seeing this uh, sting more. Suddenly I miss porn. That's depressing. There was a this was Norman's locker. The door was definitely like someone had punched it. I didn't remember him doing that when he uh, when we worked here. Another panel. All right, might as well. A utility shelf, can, uh, crammed with miscellaneous with mismatched tools and items. There was a claw hammer on the shelf. Did I take the hammer? Yeah, I want something to defend myself. So I took the hammer. I noticed it wasn't as dirty as the rest of the tools on the shelf. Oh, that's alarming now. The locker was complete. It was a complete mess. Hidden at the bottom, though, was a magnetic card. Did I take the card? Yes, yes, it did. Put the card in my pocket. Another panel that I hoped could help me get the power back on. Did I turn the switch? Yes. Yep. Again. Oh. Power panel was still working. Did I try it again? Oh, okay. Another panel that I hoped could help me get the power back on. Did I push the switch? Did I do it again? Yep, okay. I think that's all five of them now. And I have the magnetic key card that'll hopefully let me get through the building. Oh Jesus, the sound of machinery is particularly horrifying. Alright, that wasn't the door that needed the key card. Just another power box room. It's alright.
It's only been like half an hour. I've said set aside an hour and a half. <laughs> Uh, the power box working again. The door was unlocked. Did I go through? Sure. A rack of flashlights hanging on the wall. One of them was missing. Probably the one I'm using now. I stopped noticing the I stopped noticing the dull ache in my leg when a terrible sensation wormed its way down my spine. Even in the cool night air, something felt too close. I never felt alone or unmolested. I tried to tell myself it was just the, the uh, sight of the dead guards that had uh, thrown me off. The poor bastard looked like he had been done in a while on, uh, done while on patrol. Was the flashlight I carried his? How did I come to possess it then? As I looked around the wet yard, the light seemed less a blind, uh, less a blessing and more a mysterious omen. I had to keep moving though. I had to find Rachel. Very, very silent hill. A rusty old truck had uh, craned off the road and into the guardrail. In front was crushed, and uh, the front its front was crushed, and its windows had all uh, and its windows had all smashed. Judging by the rust, it had been there a while. I'm starting to think that I might have murdered all these people. No idea why. I did hear footsteps and things like that, so maybe there's someone else. Oh, thank God I'm in the city. Garbage bin was a disgusting mess of rotten food and, si and uh, s slick black bags. I saw a thin greenish corner poking out from one of the bags. It was my driver's license. It looked damaged. Did I take it back? Of course. I cleaned the card off as best I could. I looked pretty beat up. It looked pretty beat up. I was amazed to have found my credit card and now this. I tucked the card into my wallet next to my credit card. Sounded like I was going to start raining again. Come on, man! You're... I had entered Nor uh, Norman's place. This was the back of the store that I that he ran. It was oddly quiet, except for the faint sound of a television. God damn it, man! Why are you going into his house? You're in the city. You can go back home. Oh God! I have to look upstairs. Oh Jesus! Oh, Jesus. TV still flickered, so I'm in a comprehensible channel. Oh, no. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Norman, my co-worker, and one of the few friends I had in this town lay dead beside his armchair. His face and shirt were covered in blood. It looked like he'd been killed trying to get up. His eyes were still wide with shock. Norman, you don't deserve... You deserve better than this. Did I close his eyes? Yes. I wasn't sure if I wanted to give uh, him peace or if I just couldn't stand to think of uh, about what was going on. Quickly, I closed Norman's eyes. God damn it. I guess this was where Norman's kitchen table. He kept it clean enough, but there were uh, water rings from two cups still there in the wood. Do you have a guest? Is this guest the one who murdered him? Kitchen trash bin smelled uh, fresh. I didn't. Did I dig through the mess? Uh, did I? No. Zori filthy and exhausted. I didn't want to keep uh, rooting through garbage. Probably could find a clue down there, but you no. Know. God damn it. Might as well check the rest of the house. Uh, despite the shock of already finding Norman in that state, seeing his, uh, this turned my stomach just as much as one of Rachel's old fall clo uh, coats. What was it doing here? Was she okay? There was a well-maintained gun cabinet here in Norman's room. I didn't know much about guns, but it looked like he kept a few hunting rifles. I knew uh, Norman hunted occasionally, but I didn't know him to be such a collector. I almost want to take a gun with me now, but back in the city, it's probably more da dangerous to go around with the gun than defend myself from the potential murderer. The entrance to the front of the store was locked from the inside. It looked like I couldn't just pop it open. I needed a key. There's a bit of blood on the keyhole. 
Oh, fuck me. Norman, I need your key, man. Really sorry about this. I hope to hell Rachel had nothing to do with this mess. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Never been uh, to Norman's place before. At least I didn't remember ever doing so. Kitchen trash bin smell for us to dig through that mess, did I? I guess I'm gonna have to. Found a hairpin amongst the rotting food and trash and uh, pocketed it. One of those Rachel's. Oh, jeez. I used the hairpin to pick the lock. The hairpin snapped in half, so I threw it away. The general store was small, but it was clean. I had the usual things, postcards, snacks, magazines, and canned goods. I never went there much. Rachel usually stopped by after work if I needed anything. There was a register, mostly empty, but... And a fast, uh, sorry, a fat stack of travel magazines sat beside it. An ice box seemed to be unplugged. It must have been off for a while. Most of its contacts were half melted. There was various postcards from the area, especially from the tourist tapes. One of the, uh, tourist traps. One of these postcards showed an old black and white photo of the water tower. It looked uh, to be much better shape then. What else would be forced uh, to endure before the end? Seeing Norman up there, dead, it turned my stomach just to think of it. But I couldn't put it out of my mind. How was he involved in all this? This was getting worse and worse. I was starting to feel incredibly vulnerable. As I stepped out into the rain, I realized how close I was to home. I hoped I would soon find my answers. It was locked. This wasn't the right gate. The gate was locked tight. This wasn't my house. Apparently this one was. Ah, oh, Jesus. The neighborhood's uh, local post box. A letter was sticking out of it as if someone hadn't pushed it all the way in. I knew it wasn't right, but did I look at the letter? No, no. I didn't touch the letter. I had more pressing concerns to get home. Yeah, it was locked at the tight. It was in my house. I had the wrong gate. This one was locked. Blood. Home sweet home. I entered our backyard. The rain gave me a terrible sense of foreboding. And it's chilled through my, bo uh, through my clothes. I was expected, but also... Sorry, I was expected, but also afraid. Blood. More blood. I held my breath as I approached. Our back door. I was terrified to step inside. Else come to home. The house was painfully quiet. The only sound was my own beating, uh, my own breathing, and ragged and stained. My own breathing, ragged and stained. I flicked the light uh, switch by the door. The power was off. I remembered having breakfast here on this very table. Was it yesterday or sometime before? The door was uh, to the basement. It was locked. Where did I put the damn key? There was a small pile of mail on the floor in front of the mail slot. How long had I been away? Why hadn't Rachel picked this up? Most of the contents were bills. There were there was a credit card bill there. Did I open it? Yes. I heard the bill open and read it. To my surprise, it said something about canceling my credit card due to non-payment. What the hell? The front door was locked from inside. I couldn't go out, though. I needed to see if Rachel was here. door was sucked shut. There's an old-fashioned key hole underneath the uh, handle. I 
I had found the last missing piece from my wallet. The old photo of Rachel and I stared back at me, reminding me of better times. It didn't make me feel terribly comfortable. Did I keep it anyway? Yeah. I placed the photo in my wallet, feeling like I had uh, got part of my life back. Still, the image made me uneasy. Why had I thrown it away? Our television. I had purchased it before I knew I was going to lose my job. I felt pretty guilty about it afterwards, but by then it was too late. Seems there's trouble with the marriage and at home. Our hallway mirror had been smashed, its pieces scattered around the floor. Our sink, which needed to be replaced. One of these tapes, uh, Tats always stuck, but I hadn't gone around to fixing it yet. We were lucky enough to get a house with one of these wonderful old claw-footed tubs. Oh, those are pretty awesome. There's blood everywhere. My laptop had been left on, and only a tiny bit of power left. On the screen was a website about the old water tower. There was a key uh, in the top drawer of my desk, did I take it? Yeah, I need it. Pocketed the key. It's warm. It had been running for a while. Alright, well. Right, this is the bathroom. Is there anything on this side? Apparently. The books were half mine, half Rachel's. Hey, now that I looked more closely, it looked like uh, the man in the house of uh, in that house had some of the same books as I did. There was a suitcase on the bed. It was Rachel's. I remembered it from the trip we took out west. Did I open the suitcase? Yeah. I wasn't sure what to make of the suitcase's contents. Inside were a few days' worth of clothes, some toiletries, and train ticket? Where was she planning to go? So the fact that your wife is possibly dead is probably a more pressing concern, my friend. Soul fashioned key hole underneath the key. Alright, so not the right key. Front door is locked out on the inside. I can go out though. I need to blah blah. Where do I need to use this? Oh, right, right here. I love the basement door. The last location in the house, it's got to be something down here. There's an old Christmas decorations in the box. Garbage bags were stuffed with old painted cans and supplies. There's a dirty old key here. Did I take it? Okay, so I guess there's one more room. To a small key and tried to remember what it unlocked. There were old clothing to, uh, clothing... There were old clothings, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. Just check. Oh, oh! I put this uh, dividing wall last su up last summer so we could uh, create a separate room in the basement. I hadn't finished it yet, so the door was stuck and the drywall was poorly installed. I might have been able to break through if I'd found something heavy enough. Upstairs. Grim key, uh, grimy key I found in the basement unlocked the door. I looked like the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did someone break in here? There was an old crowbar on the floor. Did I uh, take the crowbar? Yeah, I'm gonna need it. This is a heavy crowbar. I appreciate the weight. Okay, so the basement will be the last room, presumably, or it'll just open up more doors in this endless goddamn mystery. Did I break through the wall with the crowbar? Yeah. The use of the with a heavy swing, the crowbar on the wall, I smashed a large hole enough to step through. As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught in my throat. This was it. Why uh, was Rachel down here? Was she okay? 
don't look. Took? Joke? The f fuck? Am I really responsible for everything? Did I kill my wife? Don't look. I don't want to look, but I don't have a choice. That's Rachel, isn't it? Filthy looking pile of rice have been dumped in the corner. The, scratch, uh, the stench of them was awful and made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay beneath, but I knew I had to. I'd come this far. After all the scratching, after all the seeing, so I was searching out there, I was seeing when did I looked uh, within the rags, did I finally see my Rachel? I think I really did. It was worse than I could have possibly imagined. Within the folds of the rotten smelling heavy fabric, the pale dead figure of my darling wife. What struck me most was that she wasn't bloody or torn apart. Rather, she was covered in sickly green bruises and her windpipe had been crushed. The real horror was that whoever had killed her had done so intimately, with bare hands. So this is what had been gnawing in the back of my mind this whole time. This is what I was afraid of. I thought about all I had seen and wondered if any of it could uh, help me figure out who had done this. And when it couldn't, uh, and when I couldn't stay there any longer, I stepped away on shaking legs and made my way back upstairs, reluctantly exhausted from my journey. I could no longer resist the urge to close my eyes. The hell? Maybe I would use some of Rachel's travel books and find some place to go. That was my wallet. Within its contents, it contains uh, contents intact. Either I dropped the stuff or somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking again, or maybe someone stole it from me. Norman stored that forest, the water tower. Was I at all those places before? Yeah, you know, I, I believe I was. I didn't see how I could have been, how it could have happened any other way. I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents. But what does that mean? Within the few broken pieces that remained of that mirror, I could see my face had grown pale and weak. I couldn't bear to look again. It was like I didn't actually expect a reflection. I felt empty and drained. The reflection in that grimy, grimy glass was only the shadow, a whisper. I still loved that old-timey charm of the claw-footed tub, though it seemed like, it, uh, like cold comfort then. It was the key card I'd found at the bottom of the factory locker. I never did bother to use it. Someone had been going through those lockers and poking around the plant. Still, I didn't quite add up. Was I the one who had been going back to the factory? No, I don't think so. I think there was someone else. I had been uh, there. I didn't remember a thing about that place. The laptop had finally run out of power. I still had no idea what was on the tape I found in the gar in the garbage. If only I had found a way to watch it. From now on, I'd have no one to get angry with me for the stupid things I like buying, like this TV. So I guess I missed a bunch of clues and stuff that, yeah, the game is now kind of saying like, by the way, you totally could have figured out so and so and such and such. It seemed like I'd seen all there was. Maybe I thought. It was right. I was ready to go back into the basement. All right. Maybe there wouldn't be anything for me to find, but at least I had to look.
Now that I stood there, I realized I couldn't go back into that room again. I'd already seen too much. What the hell am I supposed to do? Leave? There's Mel still outside there, heaped on the floor. How long had Rachel been lying in the basement? There was nothing for me here anymore. No reason to stay in this house. Did I leave never to return? Yeah. Leaving in this town hadn't been easy. The plant had helped in some ways to stay grounded. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. I had MRIs and piles of doctor's reports, but nothing seemed to help, not even drinking. But I swear, I tried to give it up. I know it. The sleepwalking never really went away, though. But I know Rachel had tried. I know she had tried to be there for me, even when everything was falling apart. This night had unearthed terrible truths, but I knew it was the final act of a long-standing horror I had been living. Waking up in that house tonight was the final cruelty. I wish I had remained unconscious in that room forever. Even the man I'd found in the old place was a mystery. Why was he dead? Or who had done it to him? Was not something I it was not something I could uh, be ever begin to understand. Or why, for that matter, I was in that damn room in the first place. Now that I thought of it, the sewers were a terrible mystery. What had happened there? I was lucky in my way to even find a way out of there, but I never did find a, out what was on the tape on that tape that I uh, now kept. What might have sh what might it have shown me? I had found the contents of my wallet scattered through the town. Why the hell had it been out there? Had the sleepwalking gone to something new? Uh, say new extreme to some new extreme. The thought that I couldn't account for my whereabouts but knew I had been to that forest and even Norman's place. Well, it was terrifying. I didn't know what that meant, but at least I had recovered my things. Hopefully I thought that would cover my tracks so I wouldn't be blamed for all of this. The tangled mess of that horrible forest was an experience I'd never want to repeat. I had no idea who had been poking around in that old factory, but it was sure it hadn't been me. Even with the sleep, my sleepwalking and everything else that had gone on, I was certain of that. After that factory, I thought I might uh, find some solace if I could just get to Norman's store. But all I had found were more horrors and more questions. Now that I really considered it, that's when I should have seen it coming. Poor Norman was dead, but I had no idea what had happened to him. When I uh, had marched through the rain towards home, I desperately clung to the hope that this would end. And I guess in a way it did. But how could I have known what hope, uh, how hopeless it was? It all was. I started to feel as disoriented as when I sleepwalked. To think of it now, our house used to feel so lively and wor warm. But coming into the kitchen, I felt only a cold, empty tension. Every terrible thought... I had up to that point was suddenly a possibility, and nothing could have prepared me. My wife dead, ruined, discarded. Rachel's death was a terrible mystery to me, one that would haunt me forever unless I did something about it. For what solace can a man take in the death of his wife? What comfort can be offered? Rachel had been taken from me, and I might never know why. As I swung open the door and stepped into the air, I caught the scent of the wet grass and frogs. Rachel, my beautiful wife, just the thought of her again, cold and inert, uh, shocked me from head to toe. What would I do now? Who could I turn to? It would only be a matter of time before the police got involved, before the neighbors knew. The forest lawn was soft, giving beneath my feet, and I couldn't shake the urge that I shouldn't stand there, but rather that I should run. And, uh, that's home. the hell are all these weird numbers and letters? Oh, Jesus. It's a fucking experience. Home is dedicated to my wife, Nancy. Watch your back.
Press space to share your story. What happened to you? Home is now available on iOS. Press Q to quit. All right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, that was a, that was a definite change of pace from Honey Pop. I'll uh, see you guys next time for more of that and uh, some Alien, so. Bye.